Hey guys, welcome back to Addicted to Gear, the channel where we review great gear for guitarists. And today we're taking a look at a very cool product that was sent to me by the good people over at Xvive. Xvive is a company that makes a lot of really cool products for guitarists. And today we're taking a look at this. This box contains their brand new butterfly guitar stand and it's called the G1. I haven't used it before. I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I don't usually like these type of guitar stands because in my past experience, they haven't felt very reliable. I mean, I have a lot of guitars and a lot of guitar stands here and I usually go for this, the type that you can set your guitar in and it holds the neck or these guys behind me just just to maximize space because I do have a lot of guitars uh, but I want to be open-minded and try out one of these today and see how well it performs not only is it brand new but it's a design that I've never quite seen before it looks very futuristic um, made of metal and interestingly designed for sure. And the thing that caught my eye at the bottom right here, it says designed in Germany. So if it's German design, it must be good, right? So let's open it up. By the way, the box is crumpled nicely thanks to the good people over at UPS. Thank you for taking such good care of my packages. Um, Regardless, we're, we're hoping that the contents of the box is going to be in one piece. So let's, without further ado, open up the box. And by the way, of course, today's video is, you know, something that you can't necessarily hear unless your guitar falls off one of these things. You shouldn't hear any, any type of noise, but I jest. I'm only joking, but it's kind of true. So let's take this thing out of the box and uh, take a look at what it can do. By the way, the unit, which I'm holding right here and I'll open up in a second, we'll take a closer look, also comes with a nice carrying case, a padded carrying case even, with the X-Vive logo on it. So that's a nice plus. This is it guys, this little thing here is the entire stand. Now, I'm not going to look at the instructions even though there are instructions um, in the box. How complicated can it be, right? So, I'm thinking that this thing just kind of folds in place. Wow! You guys might not have been able to see that, but I'm going to give you a, a closer look. Um, first of all, I gotta say, this thing really does look futuristic to me. It looks like something right out of Terminator. The entire thing is metal. It's got this structural look to it and it basically just folds open. And what really, why I said wow just a couple of seconds ago is because there's these really cool magnets that basically hold the whole thing in, in place once you close it. It just snaps together with a very satisfying click. It's got like pads here on the on the front of the legs all the way back to the to up all the way back up here so this entire piece here has a rubber pad on it and it's got a really thick pad on the back to hold your guitar and then the leg on the back of it extends quite a bit out and it has a like a, a secondary leg that just folds out and has rubber feet on it so the entire thing seems to be really well protected. But the big question remains, how well does this thing actually hold guitars? Because the reason why I stay away from these is usually because it feels like the guitar would easily tip over. And that's not something that I want for my guitars. I like relic guitars just as much as the next guy, but that's not the way I want to relic them. So I want to keep my guitars as pristine as I can. So let's put this thing on the ground. Let's take a look at it in more detail and let's put a couple of guitars on it just to see how well it does. So let's simulate taking this thing to a rehearsal. Basically, we would just open it up like that, clicks together. The back side just opens up like that. It even has little indicators on which direction to open up the butterfly uh, stand so you don't put stress on it and 
open it up the other way. And you, as you can see, because the legs are so wide, it's pretty solid on its own. But how well does it do with a guitar on it? Let's throw a less ball on it and see how it does. So when you lean it back, the pads on this thing basically hold it really snugly. Because there's rubberized pads that feel like silicone, um, I don't feel like the guitar would actually fall. Like if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm using a lot of force to twist the guitar back and forth and it seems pretty solid. Um, does that mean that all guitars are going to be this solid? I'm not sure, but maybe you can see the back here. If I turn it this way, these pads hold the back of the guitar and since they're grippy, they kind of grip onto the guitar itself. So I, I feel pretty confident that the guitar wouldn't necessarily fall. I mean, obviously if you stumble on it and knock it over, it can always fall, uh, but so can the other type of guitar stands. Let's see how it does with an acoustic guitar. Now, acoustic guitars are a bigger challenge for these kinds of stands because they're so thick. So let's see how well this thing does. So if I take this and put it in the stand, it actually holds the guitar in quite snugly. Once again, if I try and rock the stand, it's pretty solid even on this carpet. So the design is quite well thought out because it does have steps. So if your guitar is thick, like in the case of this acoustic guitar, you would put it in on this level. If you're putting in an electric guitar, it would go down to this level. So it accommodates a lot of different sizes quite nicely. I think it does a really admirable job of uh, supporting the guitar. So in the case of a Strat, you would put it down on the lower level and lean it back on the pads and uh, make sure the pads are touching nicely on the back on both sides. And that way your Strat is solidly in place. And that's the beauty of the design. It fits a lot of different style guitars. Now I can't speak to how well this stand will hold something like an Explorer. That's um, one of those things where the shape of the guitar is quite different and out of the norm. But for standard guitars like this, you shouldn't have any issues. As I mentioned at the very beginning, I was never a big fan of these butterfly um, guitar stands. I just preferred the other ones, but I have to say that this one is changing my mind because it's so well made. Uh, I like the metal. I like the really solid pads. It feels very solidly constructed and it's, as I've showed you, it holds the guitars and the acoustic guitars and basses very solidly. There's no reason why you wouldn't want to grab one of these and chuck it in your backpack or your, you know, your carry bag and bring it with you on a gig. It folds up so nice and compact. It's a lot more convenient than some of the other ones. Of course, if you want to protect your, your instruments, the best place to keep them is in the case, like I always say, but sometimes you have no choice but to, you know, have something to support your guitar while you're on stage playing a gig and why not go with something like that? Check it out for yourself if you don't believe me, but I'm telling you, I like it. Thumbs up. Well done, guys, over at X Vibe. Keep up the great work.